I belong from nuclear background of family. I reside with my mother. She is a housemaker now, and I have a younger brother. Uh, he is right now pursuing his uh, education, like he is in uh, eighth standard right now. And about my qualification, I have completed my HSC through Maharashtra Board by pursuing seventy four percentage in the year two thousand seventeen. And later on, I have started into uh, management studies. And after that, uh, like. Uh, after going getting into my management studies i dropped my studies and got into bpos to work uh, and i worked for reliance jio mahindra holidays and there are several bpos in uh, processes in which i have worked but then like it wasn't uh, something i wanted in my life so i was like uh, going through uh, I, i was exploring through different career options and that's uh, that's the time when i got clicked that uh, uh, i can try for the coding because i've got the interest in my hsc so i've started uh, going through youtube videos got into deep research and everything and then i've started uh, uh, studying it yeah so actually i was uh, like i was looking out for job and everything and then in the instagram uh, only uh, social media i uh, i was scrolling uh, down and everything and then and suddenly i saw the uh, advertisement uh it it was about like uh, something about the course on front end development only then i visited the website after visiting the website i i i checked all the details i filled the contact form as well and later on i checked it uh, in youtube as well so at that time there was one uh, hsc student who got placed recently just like one week uh, before only so i watched every video and then i found it very genuine so at that point of time i got the contact uh, i got the call from the digicol itself and then they have explained me all the details and everything i wasn't sure but still like uh, after talking to the person i was like i was completely okay with it uh, my parents uh, also had been uh, spoken with the person so yeah so after that uh, i have joined it uh before joining digicol i've joined uh, i've joined one more uh, course uh, so they were also uh, they have also told me that they'll provide the placement assistance and everything but uh, i haven't got any response from them after completing the course but uh, as soon as i've joined digicol from day one i've got the opportunity to explore into different kinds of project like different various projects which uh, helped me like uh, even uh, at that point of time it was like uh, this is very difficult task or uh, it, it used to feel like it is difficult task or uh, can we solve it or nothing but then we have the mentors we have asked them and we completed our assignment then right now as i am working somewhere so right now the importance of that is like it it's really important that the way the mentors are teaching you the way they are providing you with the assignment and everything so it went very uh, smoothly after joining dgp uh yeah actually before joining digicol uh like i was not sure like uh, with the languages about the languages and everything which the digicol gonna com- cover so before uh, when i have joined the course before uh, joining digicol there was another course which i have joined they were providing me uh, like uh, the knowledge of html css bootstrap and react that's it four languages but uh, when uh, i got into digicol i inquired about the digicol it was redux and javascript and there, there are multiple things which they have teach so in that way i was really confused that it will help or not and it, it is necessary to, whatever the language is the digicol are uh, teaching us it is the necessary language and they help us. i went for the front end development course and the technologies which i have uh, learned is uh, html css bootstrap uh, javascript react redux and apart from all these these are the main languages apart from all these we have got the knowledge of rest apis uh, back end how wire uh, wire frameworks work uh, also like uh, tailwind and everything like we have got the overall idea of other languages as well as uh, from the same language so it was like uh, our mentors like uh, uh, our mentors they have told given us the idea of everything like bootstrap we know bootstrap is the framework for css 
but apart from that he also mentioned that you can go for tailwind because this works the same way and then react router and everything like overall knowledge As I said, like uh, when I was in uh, my HSC, so at that time I uh, like uh, when you get the I, HTML and uh, HTML and CSS, just HTML and CSS. So at that point of time, I was like very, very much interested in that, and then suddenly I got into this. Uh, I was thinking about it actually, like I, I, I wasn't like sure I have to work for, in the BPO or anything. So I wanted to get into IT. That was my first target. So how can I get over there and? it was all like uh, confusing for me so then i've started uh, getting deep uh, like i've started thorough research on it so i've got to know like there are multiple languages you have to study and then when i've referred to youtube i till html still it was completely fine but then as soon as javascript started i was like i'm done i'm quitting and everything but then i have joined one to uh, two three courses one from uh, this uh, two three courses i've joined but still like there was something missing which like through which uh, like i'm not getting it or something like i wasn't getting that uh, that skill set with for which i can be confident that yeah i can go for the interview but after getting into digital after two months only i was like yeah i can clear it i, I can clear the interview it be day one like uh, i have been uh, like listening to mentors so they have already mentioned like uh, like uh, first day like uh, when sir was there i was uh, sir was there so he was like uh, taking the introduction and everything but there are few people who were non i uh, non it back from non it background so they were like sir like we will get the placement now. like uh, we are we are very much trying and uh, we are just hsc and we are non technical background and everything sir were like if you are studying If you focus on the mentors, you're definitely gonna get the job. It's not like it's on our hands; it's on your hands. So from that day, I've started listening to mentors and everything. Like uh, uh, whatever they are, the whatever the assignments we are getting, well, we were getting enough time to cover it. Like we were getting uh, four to five days minimum to complete the assignment. So you, if you, uh, what uh, helped me was like completing the assignments on time, all practical. like theory is fine it's fine like theory is fine till a limit but practical is everything um very great like uh, i have uh, i have never seen this kind of mentors because like Abh- abhishek sir is there for javascript he will complete everything and first uh, he used to whenever we used to ask him uh, any doubt Sir, so, uh, this is uh, like we are we are we aren't understanding this. How can we do it? So he used to like he used to be like uh, share your screen. I'll show you. You do. I'll uh, I'll tell you uh, why we why like why we have to share the screen. Sir should uh, share the screen and tell us, na. But then later on we got to understand. Yeah, because when we try, na. So at that time we get to know that what actually have to do. And about uh, Shubham sir, he used to uh, t- he, he, he teach uh, teaches React, right? React, Redux, and everything. So he he is fantastic. Like any time we go to him and ask him any doubt, he is like, yeah, it is simple. You have to just do this, do this, and yeah, that's it. All happened. So this was all about mentors. Like everyone was uh, like every uh, mentor uh, is brilliant. Like they are always helping. Uh, they are always helping. assignments is like properly like uh, how you uh, step up the ladder in that when the assignment were like html if you are starting from the basic the assignment will go upgrade will will be upgrading as soon as the languages are getting uh, involved more and more so yeah it was complete like uh, the fire, i i i still remember the last three assignments from the digital which i have done uh, related to that assignment only i have got the machine Apart from digital uh, classes, I haven't done anything. So, like it, it was like uh, we used to have a one hour of uh, doubt uh, clearing session. So, in that session, we we have got uh, to know that we should uh, like whenever there is an CRUD application or any application which we are making, any assignment, 
so try it for two three times uh, uh, try adding router in it try adding uh, this try adding that function or try adding this so sir used to tell us uh, everything about this so we used to follow the same i i have followed the same thing and uh, uh, in the whole day apart from lecture i'll just suggest to practically do the code for just one or two hours that's fine that will work for sure mock interviews like after completing the course they, there were uh, around regular mock interviews for our practice apart from mock interviews we are uh, uh, we, we have been told to uh, like uh, do the uh, problem uh, data structure problem solving so not like they were they weren't pressuring us to do that but they were like uh, you have to try at least cover one to two sums each day and apart from that every week uh, like in three three four four days like there were a batch groups teams so in between the teams there were uh, mock uh, interviews so mock interview was taken we, we used to get the feedback regularly uh, next day only we have we used to get the uh, feedback about the mock interview and again we have to prepare for uh, like we have got the time to prepare whatever mistakes we have made so in this way two three mock interviews have been happened and uh, that made me uh, improve they are definitely helpful because uh, like the, whatever the, like whatever has been covered into the mock interview uh, like almost every question was uh, there in the interview like mock interview has covered the uh, javascript react everything from basic to advanced all the questions were covered so it helped me it helped me a lot actually placement i i haven't faced face any uh, issue on it because like i've just completed with the mock interview and everything and i've got the call uh, from our uh, like mentor so he was like uh, you have uh, you have done the mock interview very well and everything now like you have done two three mock interviews now it is all good so you are good to go so i was like yeah so like next week like next week i'll get the interview chance and then like usually i i i used to ask them like uh, uh, IT firms take uh, 20 to 25 days for hiring. It was my mind, but uh, like just after two three days, I got the call from the firm, and then literally in three days, I got placed as well. And I am getting the call from the HR that I have to join up the 15th. It haven't took me like two months or anything. Like I uh, I think uh, the day uh, I got the call after uh, within a week, I was just placed. everything is great like because uh, when we have started we got uh, we met the sir like he was on call he used to guide us in the starting so from that point of time to uh, the placement so every staff we ever uh, talked to or we have uh, we, we have got the opportunity to talk with they were very very polite and very they were very supportive and like whenever we like what happens is like uh, the mentors have got their other lectures as well so we used to coordinate with our coordinator so we used to like sir please tell uh, the mentor now that we have got this issue and we can we, we can give him uh, 30 minutes also will be fine and everything so he used to, he used to like uh, literally call him and arrange the mentor for us so everything was well like in the at the time of placement as well i used to get the regular call from the uh, placement team regarding the update and what uh, else can we do what what other changes we can make to make next round more uh, better so in that way every uh, staff member was helped okay yeah, so to be very honest like i was trying to get into it for around one year one year and i have done two three courses in between of them but still i haven't got into the it but uh, like it was my high time and i was like i have to get into it because it's now it's now uh, like not a career option it's my dream right so i have to get into uh, it so at that time only i have got the reference from the digico like in the social media and then i've researched a lot in digico that uh, i i wasn't sure because i have done two three courses so i wasn't sure like i'll get the placement or not so i wasn't sure so and then 
we have got the one one more offer that we have to make the payment after uh, getting placed so i was like let's give it a try like all anyways i have been trying from last one year so it it's fine to give it one more try so and seriously that was my last trip for getting into an it that was my last trip because i was about to give up I, uh, it was like uh, i have already made my mind that it will be the last chance if i am getting into it it's my dream coming true or else we are going back to the ppo <laughs> that same life <laughs> but yeah so i have joined the digital and then everything went well like uh, just i have just uh, got uh, i haven't, I haven't completed yet two months in the firm but still like i have uh, got into i have i have got to know like uh, learn native and then i have got the client to handle so yeah it is going really well what will my say is like i have as i have a non it and really uh, so my suggestion is just uh, whatever mentors are saying you have to just follow that you don't have to give 8 to 10 hours into coding and everything and you have to uh, you don't have to do all this you have just have to listen to the mentors whatever they are telling you have to just practically implement it for one or two hour max i have done the same i have done the same and i have got into job very easy so it's just that and you don't have to take the pressure like this language this language oh this much language it's it's not like that because everything is connected with each other and once you are practically doing it it's nothing is like uh, difficult to be honest because i have le- I, i used to think the same react redux javascript how you can manage that but right now i'm like yeah i'm done with this i i do react native now angular and this because it's all all the languages are connected to it so no need of pressure and just practical be practical about it.